and racing towards the first and dreams end and down the fell down the fell the early leader from uh, non-vintage and over on the far side stomping just in behind them comes k-tac but down the fell and call park paul carberry land over the first in the lead from non-vintage stomping over on the far side and then comes sweeby then palace gate king over on the far side land of fars being followed by monica's man and they come down towards the second down the fell the leader down the fell at the second from non-vintage on the far side k-tac and land of far and stomping and then on the near side is Castle Secret and the back marker at the moment is Flying Instructor as they come down past the winning post on the first circuit and down the fell the leader from non-vintage K-Tac on the outside then land afar and then comes Stompin just in uh, behind Stompin is Star Rage beginning to swing left-handed and down the fell and Paul Carberry still making it from non-vintage in second K-Tac on the outside then of Land of Fire the top weight stomp it on the inside and then comes Suive just in behind Suive is Dreams End and Chief Minister and also is made good progress flying instructor but still down the fell the leader and setting a really fast pace as they come down to the third K-Tac jumped it in second and then on the outside is land afar on the inside non vintage stomp in very close to the pace then comes last year's when a chief minister then sweep a and then flying instructor mistake there in rear by speed will prince beginning to get in touch uh, is the four-year-old tragic hero towards the inside coming to the fifth now of the eight flights in all and it's down the fell still the leader down the fell from land afar in second stomp in third on the right over on the far side is k tac then comes flying instructor then chief minister with a sheepskin nose band towards the far side of the picture but still down the fell the leader down the fell it is from land afar k tac then suive behind them chief minister and flying instructor making the long run now towards the home straight in the Crowther home Swinton handicap hurdle and still down the fell the leader from land afar K-Tac stomping on the far side then Suive Dreams End is improving and then comes Flying Instructor and there still it was the long time leader but being challenged now towards the near side as they come down to it by K-Tac K-Tac in the gonna jump it in the center of the flight under pressure now is down the fell K-Tac on the near side Dreams End putting in a good run over on the far side K-Tac and Dreams End they land together Dreams End on the far side K-Tac on the near side then comes down the fell land afar and still making ground is tragic hero as they come down towards the final flight now Dreams End on the far far side of K-Tac and then Tragic Hero and over that it was Dreams End from Tragic Hero on the near side Dreams End from Tragic Hero as they race up towards the line K-Tac back in third and then comes Stompin and it's Dreams End being pressed by the four-year-old Tragic Hero Tragic Hero and Dreams End as they come to the line Dreams End and Tragic Hero and Tragic Hero just get up as they come to the line from Dreams End K-Tac was third and a photo for fourth and if that is posted the winner tragic hero by the judge it means that martin pipe will be assured of his six trainers title by winning this twenty-four thousand pound prize yes he's called it number one tragic hero owned by the nighthawks partnership trained by martin pipe and written by David Bridgewater, a double for him. Second was number 13, Dreams End, owned by Mr. T.G. Price, trained by Peter Bowen, and written by Rodney Fount. And third was number 17, K-Tac, owned by Mr. C.J. Murphy, trained by John Carr, and written by Finbar Leahy, with fourth, number one, Land of Far. This is the winner, Tragic Hero, has come back after an unsuccessful uh, visit to Ireland to win this... Uh, highly competitive handicap and to virtually assure Martin Pipe of his sixth trainer's title, his 147th winner of the season and a double for David Bridgewater.
And this is how Tragic Hero won the £24,000 prize. He came very late, but in the end it was decisive. He's got up to win by a neck under this strong drive from David Bridgewater. The 1994 winner, Dream's End, in second place. And the gap back to third place. The third horse there, number 17, K-Tac, with the top weight, Land Afar, in fourth place. And Stomping in the yellow colours on the far side, fifth. Well, he's come from a long way back after a furious pace after the early leader gave way. Dream's End took it up on the inside, but uh, Bridget, surviving that mistake there at the second last when he was down on his nose, well, he's come late and hard, Skew. Yes, it, he's ridden a very good race here. You noticed you just as he, uh, you, we picked it up there, he'd moved uh, Tragic Hero out wider, so he wasn't going to get into the trouble on the rails there. And just like he did at Aintree, Tra Tragic Hero has got up on this long run in here at uh, Haydock. Dream's End has run a great race uh, in, in defeat and it must be uh, very galling to be in front for all that time just to uh, get uh, robbed at the last minute. But David Bridgewater is making relentless progress here, just hoping that the winning post doesn't come too soon and he's got there just in time and as soon as he's got there, he's put his stick down. Well, a terrific drive, but uh, for it young Rodney Farrant, uh, the pigeon they call him. He must have thought uh, he was in for one of the biggest wins of his career because Dreams End did everything right. He was holding the ones that he could see, particularly K-Tac, but it was very late that David Bridgewater brought this horse in the outside, who Jonathan Lauer, remember, won on at Liverpool. And, well, perhaps a reluctant hero, but <laughs> Bridgie was very persuasive. Yes, I... I I think he just finds it hard, as I said beforehand, just to lay up with the pace early on, but you uh, can't uh, crib, crib his courage there. You know, he's, uh, I think he's just flat out and can't go any first, faster, and when he gets there, he's won. Hard luck for Dream's End, a former winner of the race, been trained by Phillips Hob Hobbs, but uh, run a, a great race in defeat. A neck and three lengths, the uh, official verdict. And what a game effort by a four-year-old. The only four-year-old in the race. The runner-up, the grandson of V Friendly, who won the inaugural 